gonna take you through one of my favorite clever climbers, Pandoria Jasminoides. It is also known as Tower of Beauty. It is famous for its compact nature and lovely pink flowers with the reddish tone in the center, the heart of the flower. It's Sunday morning, 21st of November, and it's raining. So Pandoria Jasminoides, or Power of Beauty, it's a beautiful twining evergreen Australian climber. You can see here the way uh, these are twisting and twining around the lattice so perfectly and still so elegant and neat and clean. Uh, look at the flowers. If you see the shape of these leaves, they are very elegant and they remain lush green throughout the year, even without the flowering season. Look at the twining and twisting uh, of uh, Pandoria jasminoides. And I have now extended it here. So hopefully it will be extended. So this climber gives flowers from spring to summer in a mass light pink flowers with red throats. The attractive glossy foliage as you see is just dark green. They have their own unique feature. It tolerates a wide range of soil. It was pretty easy for me as compared to the Madagascar Jasmine and this was uh, relatively easy to grow and to um, trail it up. It tolerates a wide range of soils. I still give it a, quite a lot of organic fertilizer, blood bone fertilizer, mainly liquid fertilizer. But try to avoid the heavy fertilizer. Normally it prefers a sunny open position requires some protection from frost when it's young. After flowering, we can prune it. It's already quite compact. But still, if we see that it's getting out of control, we can still uh, prune that. In summer, in dry weather, it's better to keep it moist. The flowers are really so beautiful. They're at the corner, so I'm just trying to spread this way and the other way so that you can see the flowers from all angles in our backyard. During planting, you just need to cultivate the soil, add some compost, again, dig the hole twice the width of the container, remove the plant from the container and plant it into the hole. Uh, so the soil level is at the same uh, level. So it's an excellent climber to hide your defense and to give an excellent tone feature to your garden. It's just so amazing. So it's just growing and establishing each and every season. I believe it's just two, two years old and the way it has really um, grown um, and spread it across is just so amazing. The star jasmine was the easiest one. I tried this one, so that was okay. Madagascar jasmine is the one I'll show you later on. It's, it's taking quite a lot of time to establish, but it's going doing well as well. Probably in my next video, I'll take you through the Madagascar jasmine. But at this time, this is just an amazing climate. Look at that.
All right, now let's answer some of the um, common questions regarding Pandoria jasminoides, uh, which is bower of beauty or bower of wine. So some people say that their Pandoria jasminoides, uh, they uh, are not blooming. So probably Pandoria jasminoides, it's a, it's a tropical plant and it needs some good five to six hours of uh, sunlight a day um and an ample of light uh, warm temperatures it also likes rich soil to bloom well so uh, if it is not getting enough heat and sunlight it may never gain enough strength to bloom so these are some of the reasons that uh, bower of beauty or pandoria jasminoides uh, uh, are not blooming in some houses all right, so Bower of Beauty is perennial. It's a perennial member of uh, Bignonia, a family characterized by its uh, very unique sprawling, twining uh, growth habit, as I've shown you, the way they are twining and twisting around the um, uh, lettuce. And the clusters of pink, uh, red tubular uh, shaped flowers is just amazing. Is uh, Pandoria jasminoides uh, native to Australia? Our vine is a species of flowering plant in the family of Bignonia and is uh, endemic to uh, Eastern Australia. So it is a native Australian uh, climber.